Obi, Ashley, and Ashley McBride. And Ashley. Welcome. Yeah, good the to latest. see you. It's good to see you too. The latest, by the way. The latest one. Almost inductee of the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah. Isn't oh. that crazy? Yeah. Well, you did get that I mean, it's guards. not like crazy as in I never imagined in a million years that it would happen because I've been working my whole life for that yeah. to happen. Yeah. I, I would say it's not surprising. It's probably happening. Your fans. Like, yeah. It's crazy. Were you expecting, I know Garth, obviously, on the other end of the television. But when you go on a TV show... Yeah, because um, Opry invitations don't happen on TV. They happen at the Opry during one of your shows. Yeah, why did it have to happen that way? Um, and I don't know, I, except that my team really, I guess, wanted to surprise me. So I was there ready to talk about Lindyville, ready to talk about the horse accident with Gail, of all people. Like, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. And then Garth is there, and I'm surprised, and then the invitation is extended, and then they let me know my mother is there. And that, you can't turn my mother loose in New York City. You knew something was up then at that point. Oh, yeah, when they were like, there. congratulations, and your mom is here. And I was like, you know, ugly crying on TV. <laughs> did you suspect, though, it was Opry? Did, did you? No, I, and it's such, Garth is so cool, and the way he does things is just unpredictable and just super dope all the time. I thought he was legit coming on there to be like, I like the new record. I'd like for you to come play a show or something like that. Or like, do you want to come to the house and have tacos and listen to your record? <laughs> Which would have been cool, too. Right, and it's yeah, a total right. Garth move, right? To be like, I love this record, and I'd like for you to come by and have a sandwich. And But then when he, I realized he was in the circle, I was like, oh, no. Oh, you saw, you could see. So if we yeah, and then he angle, said, you know, I'm, in, I'm here in the circle where you stand. And I was like, oh, my God, this is about to happen. Like, that must be how being proposed to feels. Yeah, I think probably. being proposed to would have to, it has some pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah. Yeah. But that's pretty major. Yeah. In, in a it's that absolutely. kind of life changing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and some of us, but, but like some of us would say so well deserved. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. Not only have you been doing it for a long time, but you've been rocking it for a long time. And just Thank like, you. it seems like the past like five years, I don't know what you've done to turn it up, but you've just like really hit this new evolution. And so it it is well deserved and we're still so entertained by what you've got for us. And yeah, Thank it's a blessing. You. What do you I'm think it is? About it. Because you've been bus for so long. What do you think yeah. it took? What finally happened that I think it's I don't know because I I was raised to believe that if you work really hard, you can have the thing that you're working for. But then I didn't realize like how hard you have to work for how long. And I think if you told me that at, when I was 19, playing my first bar gig, how long it would take and all, what kind of crap you have to deal with along the way, <laughs> that would probably scare you off. So I'm glad nobody ever told me. True. So I just kept going, just work hard, it'll be fine. Yeah, that's like a... Especially when the reward is doing the thing. Like, getting on stage tonight, that's the reward. Is it hard work? Yeah, is it fun to walk around with lashes and heavy hair and I'm covered in spandex? And <laughs> No, that's not fun. It's just one of the things that is required of the position. And, and then I get to get on stage in a little while and literally play. Like play with my friends yeah yeah as though we're in a on a playground or in a sandbox well you right before you get on stage what's typical you, you're, you and your group your band everybody has their own high five situation which some of them aren't even high fives it's just what we call it when we're going to do it and then we do we circle up and my drummer is so smart and so well-spoken I mean, his name is Quinn, so I just we have dr. Quinn time and Quinn says something snarky sometimes inappropriate very funny um, we yell, we always, we usually yell the same word. I can't say it on the radio. You, <laughs> and, you can't, and you can't say it on TV, evidently, I learned the other day on is Seth Is it Myers. four letters? Uh, no, it's several letters, but it is, a, it is a part of anatomy that is admired by oh. people of all walks of life. Oh. And of all ages. It, that that sounds so that artistic. It sounds so nice, so beautiful. Like, now I need to know. Like. <laughs> right. Uh, and then um, Dana, who does glam and does a crap ton of other things. Um, her task is to do everyone's high five. Plus, One Night Standards um, era, because we got to, you know, crush a lamp with a shovel and drag a body out of a hotel room. <laughs> that was so much fun. And now when we crushed a car. So I'm glad we've elevated to now burning cars. Yeah, just light them on fire. Yeah. I, I think next one is going to be like tanks. Like something. Yeah, look, like, what now we gonna you do? We're going to like explode an RV, maybe? We could or, do that. Or, or you go really small. The, the complete opposite. Yeah. <laughs> that would actually be great. <laughs> I'm hoping that we get to do a, a video for Brenda Put Your Bra On, and I just cannot wait to see what that, because we work with the same director usually, see what he comes up with for that. It's, the whole album's just so fun. And Thank again, you. We, we were introduced to Pillbox Patty and her character that way, because she is a Florida girl. Yes, uh, yes, so we she is. Here, Swanee and all the great uh, songs that she's done on her Florida album, but yeah, let's go fast forward to December really quick. Yes. Because that is... December 10th. December 10th is the day. Yeah, it's the day. I mean, do you already have, is the team already on what you're wearing? Uh, what you're going to 
Day. Yeah, it's a double Opry Day. So, and I've only done a few double Opries, but there's an early show and a late show. So I was like, huh, wardrobe change. I don't usually have Reba moments like that. So we're going to do... Reba moments? Right, but she's always <laughs> got like, so a awesome. really cool wardrobe change. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do that. And I'm really excited because family members and, and friends from over the years are all like... People that watch me play in bars in Memphis when I was like 20 years old are coming in to watch what I said I would do back then be done. Um, and Terry Clark is going to be there. And uh, I asked her to do the honors and... She said yes, so that's wow. that's full circle for me because I was such a fan, and I'm so excited that I grew into a person and an artist that gets to be friends with heroes like that. Yeah. And so it's gonna be nuts, and I heard there's gonna be cake, and I don't know how <laughs> well you know me, but as soon as you say cake, I'm like I'm I'm in. Done. Yes. Done deal. You can get me to do all kinds of things. Like, oh. do you want to go to this wedding? I'm like I don't really like weddings, and you're like there's cake, and I'm like sure. All right, good oh to know. What are we wearing? Sure to know. Good well, you know, it's funny because, uh, you know, you, you've got such a robust character about yourself. Uh, you're uh, insanely talented. When you mentioned Reba, I don't know why. I got these tingles of like, oh, my God, this could be like the next Reba, like right in front of us. With just Your so, lips to God's ears. That'd be really cool. Well, do it up. Get a TV show. And, you know, get, you know <laughs> right. we got a couple things that we got on the list that we're going we're gonna to make happen. She did a one-woman Broadway show. So put that on the list. Would okay. you ever want to do Broadway? Heck yes. Yeah? Like dream roles. Miss Hannigan. What? Absolutely. Yeah. In Annie. I would love to be the plant in Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> I've never seen that done as a seen female that. character. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Right? Um, anything like that. Oh, heck yeah. That'd be so much fun. Well, I only ask because a lot of times, I mean, it's such a different beast. Everyone knows Broadway yeah. is just a different beast. So. It is. And it's been years and years since I, cause I did theater and musical theater and all that stuff growing up. So it's a completely different animal. But okay. We're putting it out there. We're, we're putting, putting it out, it out there. there. Yeah. We're going to, I'm going to Reba myself. You've been so blessed. You know what? You'll, you'll be your own Reba. Thank you for spending this time with us. Of course. Anytime that we get with you, Ash, like really, it, it really is a treasure because Thank you just, you. you're genuine. And I think a lot of people need to see women artists like that that are just so strong. And I want my daughters to like. Thank you. It's a good thing. I mean, some of the hair is, it's not, I would say it's fake, but it's not fake. It's real. It's mine because I bought it. And the lashes are fake. But everything else, we have to do that because once you get on stage, if you want to look like you have any of it, you have to have all of it. Um, but yeah, we just, you know, we put our pants on one sleeve at a time. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. It's the old saying. <laughs> like, one sleeve. Yeah, we're just a bunch of goobers that really get, <laughs> it, get into like, you know, we're music buffs and movie buffs and... You know, well, we have a good time with our band. We were just watching stand up and telling as many jokes uh, as we could find related to fairy tales earlier. It was a really fun activity. Like it gets Googling. it gets a little inappropriate a little quickly, but uh, oh. yeah. Hey, that's the type of environment you want to create. That, that's <laughs> right. It keeps it light and fun. That's right. Yeah. Well, and sometimes there's cake. And cake. sometimes there's cake. <laughs> yes. Backstage at Country Thunder with Ashley McBride, the soon-to-be Opry member in December, latest inductee 